For this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, I'm going to be doing a beer from a brewery I've actually never had anything from. They're out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, I know the last one I did was also from Oregon, uh, technically Portland as well. But this is uh, another one from Portland, Oregon called Lompoc Brewing, L-O-M-P-O-C. I never heard of them. Apparently they do more kind of localized stuff in Oregon. Uh, this beer was complimentary of Allie Dean, uh, who lives in Oregon. Thank you very much, Allie. Uh, she gave it to me for, you know, Secret Santa Christmas thing. So thank you very much, Allie. Look forward to trying this. This is their uh, seasonal beer. Uh, it's an Imperial IPA. I like that as a seasonal. Typically, Imperial IPAs are just kind of whenever. But uh, it, it's a seasonal uh, Imperial IPA called Sea Suns. I don't understand the reference to Sea Suns Greetings. Um, there you go. You can see Sea Suns Greetings. I don't know. I don't get the reference. But uh, uh, this Imperial IPA is coming in at 8% alcohol by volume, which is a little bit um, on the lighter side of where Imperials can go, but should be good. Hoping. Love my Imperials, especially West Coast. So. Da -da -da. Very deep uh, orangey amber coloration to it already, so liking it. Um, Looks a little bit like maybe a chill haze to it. Can't see totally through it. Um, but yeah, it's actually um, actually closer to like a reddish orange, like a deeper coloration to it. <clears throat> mm. Getting a little bit of tropicality out of it. But also a little bit of like a malty... I feel like the malts are coming forward maybe a little bit more. Maybe the hops have died down a tad bit. There's no uh, bottle date on it, which breweries, please put the bottle dates on. It doesn't, I don't know how much more it costs, but it's really a benefit when people can go see how fresh the beer is and try it because there are some people out there that don't understand that, you know, it's kind of best to drink really hoppy beers within like three months of the bottle date. Um, not that they're terrible after that, but they're not what, what are intended for the flavor. So if people can kind of see what the bottle on date is and know, oh, like this is a year old. It's been sitting on the shelf that long and it's hoppy. Well, the hops have died. So um, it has a real earthy kind of quality to it. A little, I mean, it sounds bad, but it sounds, smells a little dirt-like, but not in a bad way. Just like an earthy maltiness and an earthy uh, hop aroma to it as well, which makes me think that maybe the hops have died down if it's an imperial IPA. But a little minerality to it. There is some citrus to it, but it's like a deeper, darker citrus. A little bit of dankness in there. Um, a tad bit of that kind of Smarties uh, candy uh, scent that I typically get in hoppy beers. But this isn't like extremely vibrant with like um, grapefruit and tropical uh, notes. It's got a little bit of a tropical note to it, but it's it's much more like subdued. So I believe the hops have probably died down a little bit in this beer. Um, I get some of that kind of Smarties flavor to it. I'm getting what I was talking about with that earthiness and the minerality. Um, the malt's really coming forward. The hops uh, taste like they've kind of, you know, really mellowed out quite a bit. It's got a pretty medium body to it. That 8% alcohol is tasting about pro appropriate, actually. You know, it's not tasting too astringent or anything. I feel like they did a pretty good job there with this. It's a solid beer. Um... I'm not sure it's one that I would really seek out. Um, maybe if I knew when it was bottled, if if it turns out that this is more, you know, say it's like, I don't know, like six months old or something, I don't know. I'm assuming, I'm assuming not because it says Season's Greetings on it. So, um, you know, maybe it was just brewed this way. Maybe the hops have not died down. But definitely getting a lot of, um, a lot of that minerality and the earthiness. But also, um, as it kind of sits on my tongue, there's a little bit of a medicinal quality to it. Um, you know, kind of like that alcoholish um, sweetness you get at the end of some cough medicines. But it's not, like, terrible or anything like that. It's just kind of like a lingering note on there. Um, bitterness is not as much as I was actually expecting based on the smell. 
Uh, so that's kind of nice that it's a little in check there. But eh, on the beer. Sorry, Allie. Thank you, though. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to try this. And I always, you know, I'm a ticker, so I just like trying new things. So anyways, thank you so much, Allie. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. If Lompoc Brewing, uh, their season's greetings sounds interesting, uh, well, you'll probably have to wait until next year. But <laughs> good luck uh, in getting it. Um, I'm going to drink the rest of this because uh, it's, it's definitely drinkable. Thanks so much, and go get yourselves a beer. Thank you.